All right, what's up everybody? We are on Attack on Titan Season 2, Episode 9 today. And I actually looked it up, but this should be my first Attack on Titan reaction going up in the new year. So, um, yeah, the moment I'm recording this is not nearly a new year yet, I gotta say. But uh, that being said, I do want to wish you all a happy new year, of course. And I hope that 2022 will bring you lots of good things. Um, actually, that's the other thing that I realized. I'm pretty sure that the uh, last season or the last half or whatever of season four that it is, right, um, is going up also any day now, I think, right? So, um, yeah, I myself, once again, will be watching the show at my own pace. And so it will take still a couple of months before I get there. But that being said, I'm sure that many of you are super excited for it. And uh, once again, I hope that you will get everything you wanted out of it um, and that you're going to enjoy it uh, as much as possible, of course. Um, I know what it's like when you're really like anticipating, yeah, one, you know, one of your favorite shows coming to an end or whatever, or uh, the, you know, the final season uh, airing. Yeah, man, it's a uh, pure hype. So I can't imagine what it must be like for many of you. Uh, once again, I myself will just be continuing here from where I left off. And of course, the last episode was a bit more of a quiet one, which made a lot of sense because the ones before that were incredibly chaotic, of course. Um, uh, after obviously the reveal of uh, uh, Reiner and Berthold being the colossal and armor titan, the massive fight that we had between Eren and Reiner. Um, now they've basically taken Eren and Emir with them. The you know episode kind of ended on a. Um, it seemed to me like a conversation they were about to have, but I could be wrong about that. But that's kind of what it felt like. Like they were just uh, basically catching their stamina there or something, right? And they were just um, yeah, kind of. Uh, 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 you know, again, just waiting while all the other, um, you know, basically our squad of people um, is heading to this forest now right away, trying to, um, of course, save Eren. And that that's another, like, big part of what the episode was about, is it was this flashback that was super... I don't know, it was just beautiful, right? Uh, uh, kind of, once again, contrasting how, of course, the situation that they're dealing with has uh, very much changed, but the characters and the way they are haven't like there was still very much that emphasis on Mikasa and how protective she is over Eren which I still wonder why she is like that protective over him I mean obviously like from that moment where we saw the uh, I think it was episode six of the first season with their flashback and how Eren saved her and everything like that right and she had a lot of traumatic stuff happen to her it's very understandable that she um obviously treats Aaron uh, or you know that Aaron is super important to her but still she has this incredibly almost mother figure type of protectiveness um, regarding Aaron and I'm not sure if there were other things that led up to that or something you know like that's what I'm very curious about how did that come to be the way it is and why is that the case it's almost like she was also I could be wrong but wasn't it also very much sort of like Aaron's mother or maybe even father um kind of asking that of her or something in um again in like episode one or maybe in some in in like a flashback scene i know that was another flashback scene we saw with aaron's mom maybe in like the first episode of season two or something um yeah again like i i wonder what the full scope of it is there and i think we are gonna dive into more and more backstory for them in future seasons so uh, very much looking forward to that. But that being said, I'm just kind of ready to dive into this episode, which I see is called Opening. So I'm not sure what that really is about. Um, is it, yeah, like opening. Does it mean like opening of a, of a wall or opening of the show? Or again, I'm just uh, <laughs> completely uh, flabbergasted as to, or just confused as to what, um, what that would actually refer to. But we're going to Wait and find out, I guess. And um, that being said, of course, you can already watch the next five episodes on Patreon. Another thing that I've done, because it's a completely new month, um, so that means it's the best, of course, time to subscribe to the Patreon. Uh, I've been reacting to a video that a lot of people have been wanting me to react to, a lot of people um, on Patreon, which is Attack on Titan in nine minutes. It's like a YouTube video that's apparently very popular among the community. So uh, I actually made sure to upload that as well. As soon as we finish season two, I'll be catching up on a couple of OVAs, of course, that will be going up there as well later than this month. So lots of cool uh, exclusive content once again to check out on Patreon. Um, you know, if you want to both help support my channel and then get some cool, nice little treats in return as well. So go check that out. Uh, and of course, like I said, you can already watch the next five episodes 
So that is episode 10, 11, 12, and the first two episodes of season three are up there already right now for you to check out, as well as full-length reactions if you want to watch the entire episodes along with me. But with that being said, I think I've said enough. And for now, let's just dive into this new episode of Attack on Titan. Which village is that actually? Is that the same one as like where Connie was from or? That music is epic. I can't wait to see what this conversation is going to be. <笑>エレン見ろよ。私もこの通りだ。お互い今日は辛い日だな。なんせ急いでいたからな。慌てて同じに噛みついたら、お前の両腕を<笑><笑> He immediately tried. I actually really have not talked about the difference between regular titans and the abnormals yet. I actually completely don't know what's up with that. The fact that there are abno abnormal ones. Like, what does that even why would that be? この巨人の領域内を生き抜くのは巨人の力を持っていても困難だ。いや、そもそも今お前らは巨人になれ。そんな都合のいい代物じゃねえのさ。体力は限られている。今はお前らの体を修復するので手一杯のような。<笑> Berthold is always just silently standing there. Uh... Listening in, letting Rhino do the talking. Oh。<laughs> よろいの巨人のまま走って故郷に帰らず、こんなところに立ち寄った理由は何だ。疲れたから休憩してんのか。お前の想像に任せる。単純に夜になるのを待ってるってことか。それもあるかもな。いや、そもそも夜にならなく
This is everything to Mikasa. Yeah, Hans is just trying to calm her down a bit. Getting promoted. Is Bertel saying stop speaking out loud or what? Berthold keeps being surprised how Reiner is just openly talking about it. Right? <笑>なんだよ。別に今すぐ隊長に昇格させろなんて言ってないだろ。お前らあの逮捕どっから持ってきたんだよ。あの時は本当に助かったぜ。そんでもってその後のクリスタなんだが、ありがとう見ても俺
I can't believe where this is all going. Yes, please tell me. Saru, Nan no Kotoda Nanda Sarute Makike Sono Sarut de Kemono no Kyojinga Konka in a Sawagi no Genkyo Dio Kabe no Naka ni Kyojin o Hase Sasetan So it's so Mesaseba Omaira no Kokyo ni Kaide in Daro. Okay, so he's working together with them. Stemogaro Ed. No, of course not. It's bigger than that. But in what way? That's the question. Yeah, th this is. Yumiu, <laughs> Uh, so they both have Krista in common as somebody who they do want to protect. I mean, Rhino surely truly finds her a goddess. <laughs> the question is, is she gonna do the right thing or not? お前の身の安全は保障されない。だがクリスタ一人くらいなら俺たちで何とかできるかもしれない。おい。おい、家よ。敵の正体は。家で。I'm afraid we're still not going to get this answer, are we? Yep. Kimarida. Oh man. They are delaying this and they're having so much fun doing it, aren't they? Just so we as the viewers can suffer a little longer. <laughs> Great episode. <laughs> Fascinating stuff, man. I love, again, just the questions that are being raised and the puzzle pieces that are being connected and just how the show now is um, using, for example, a character like Krista basically as a something that um, Reiner as well as Emiya have in common, that they care for Krista, right? Like Reiner is in love with her. Emir, uh, for some reason, really feels like protecting her, and we still don't really know what that's about, right? I mean, again, we know that they've spent a lot of time together, but why exactly she got so emotionally connected to her is still one of the bigger questions out there. Um, especially because their personalities, in a way, are so different. Like, Krista is the nice, uh, super helpful, sweet type, right? And then Emir, very much, as we've seen, is the don't give a shit, uh, I'm all about my own self-interests and uh, just making fun of everybody, kind of a bully type character uh, with the way she was treating Sasha as well, of course, uh, in their training years. So so again, like why she got so attached to Krista is still a massive mystery to me, but I love once again how the show um, now uses that arc that they established and there's little clues that were there from the start, you know, something I, I just never expected that something as small as that scene that I still remember from the female titan episode, episode 17 or something where it was, where Rhino was calling Krista a goddess and I just found it hilarious, right? But I never expected that to be so important later on now, like what, we're, we're 10, 15 episodes further in and it's still coming back here. And that's just, again, what I find so genius about this show, how it keeps connecting these things. And, um, you know, it still makes me actually have these callbacks in my head to those episodes uh, where I now realize what that was all about, right? But again, you know, there is, a, there is another thing that the, the show is now touching on and it's finally making sense to me how Reiner, he's just not mentally all there anymore. Um, and 
that's the only really when you think about it logical explanation for why he <laughs> randomly in a way kind of revealed that to Aaron there for a little bit uh where he's like oh yeah by the way yeah Aaron I'm the you know I'm the armor titan and the uh, <laughs> Bertel right there is the colossal titan like he's just not all there in a way and and they explained it where he's doing bad things and he's obviously a murderer he's killing people and to make himself be able to cope with it he started also doing the right thing i guess and you know again he's part of the survey corps right and he's uh almost convincing himself to some extent as well that he's again that he's a good guy and uh that's the the constant struggle that he has and then berthold is there to remind him constantly no Reiner, you're not a soldier you're a warrior and i guess by warrior he just um yeah i don't know why exactly they use that word but he he uses that word to tell him you're just a titan or you're part of the titan group or whatever it is um yeah and and uh, you know that that's obviously still the big question like how far does this whole thing reach who is involved all that we know at the moment is rhino berthold annie um they are the, the the three people who we know for sure are part of it and then there's now this monkey titan who uh, appears to be kind of in on it to some extent as well right but he seems to be kind of his own entity or whatever i don't know really what to call it um yeah and then and then who else is involved is is really the question how far does it go like i said um it is so much to just think about right and yeah so amir definitely was acting on her own accord they are trying to convince her now basically to join them because they have cresta in common and she seems to i don't think she's fully went for it yet but she's definitely prolonging everything to make that decision or something she's she's not telling Aaron what the full scope of this is yet right now even though I think she kind of knows or she knows more at least than she lets up and more than uh, we at this point as the viewers know so she just decided not to say anything yet because she's waiting to see if that might be the better plan to join them right um yeah and and uh, again this is where where we're at now and just uh wondering like where is it all gonna go right like so how did this monkey titan manage to turn regular people into titans like connie's mom again i assume that's just what actually happened there um there was that scene which was actually super fascinating because i'm scrolling through the episode now where we saw berthold annie and reiner there uh as marco was being killed i think right and marco was jean's friend and but they they are standing there and the way that pictured they kind of look like titans themselves they look like they're rising out on top of all the buildings uh but they look like their normal selves so i'm not really sure what that's about if that's just more symbolism or if that's actually them in some titan form where they're actually just still looking like themselves um obviously we have the squad of people with mikasa armin hannes and everybody else uh, uh going towards the forest and han is there is calming down mikasa and that brings it back to what i talked about in the intro why is um mikasa so overly protective over Aaron and stuff right again it's something we've known from the start but i still feel like i don't know the full scope of that either yeah and that's uh, i think you know basically where we are right now i loved this episode again it's it should be incredibly frustrating honestly because it's in some way raising the same questions that have been raised for so long now and then it's also adding a little bit to that but it's really just more questions um and uh yeah but it, it's just great it's just great and I, I wonder when we're gonna get these answers but um <laughs> again this is what i've been wondering since like episode one so uh not something that i'm uh, unfamiliar with but yeah with that being said i hope you enjoyed my reaction of course let me know your thoughts in the comments um the next five episodes are up on patreon already if you want to check those out early access to those of course so uh make sure you support me and actually uh watch those uh videos if you want to of course uh, full length reactions are up there as well ovas like i said i've done some other cool things added to it as well like the attack on titan in nine minutes video that i've been reacting to and then for now i very much look forward to welcoming you back in a couple of days for the next episode